Evening, everybody. It's uh, six o'clock on Thursday, the seventh, and this is your closing comment. And uh, it was a great day. We started off pretty nicely. Um, the uh, claims numbers were neither here nor there. Uh, beyond that, we had um, we had a couple of other issues like the. Uh, trade imbalance, which was negative uh, 85.5 billion versus 84.7 expected. So that was kind of a negative. Um, and then later on in the morning, we had the EIA crude and gas numbers. And I find it remarkable that people can be so concerned about these numbers. And when they come out, I'll show you what the oil did today, up $4.20, and it traded higher than that. This occurred on an 8 million barrel uh, excess. I think that that's what it said. Let me just make sure. Um, and I will take care of that. Yep. Okay, there we go. Uh, we had a build in crude inventories of 8.24 billion barrels versus last week's draw. So um, interesting that we got this kind of a move on a day where we reported a massive infusion into that market. Uh, gasoline was a draw of about uh, two and a half million, and uh, that's pretty much what was expected. But um, it just goes to show you, you know, a lot of these numbers get revised, and a lot of them mean absolutely nothing. Who would expect oil, which, you know, basically I've used this 90 to 95 to 98 area as massive support. It doesn't surprise me that it stops there. It does surprise me that we have that kind of a build in inventories and we get this kind of a move. Uh, okay, so the biggest mover of the day, the smallest companies. The Russell 2000 up 4206, 2.43%. Coming in right behind that was the NASDAQ up about 260, 2.28. Uh, followed by the transports, which have been the redheaded stepchild for a while, up 257, 1.95%. Uh, then the S&P up 57.54, a percent and a half. And we had the Dow up 346.87 or 1.2. Now, advanced declines were excellent. They were 3 to 1 on the NASDAQ, and they were 3.5 to 1 on the NYSE. What was not overwhelming was the uh, volume. Again, it's officially summer, 4.6 billion is only 0.1 billion off what yesterday was. Uh, usually when we get a move like this that is sustained throughout the day, um, you know, we get into a position where we start to see higher and higher volume. Generally takes more volume to take stocks up than it does to take stocks down. All you need is an absence of buyers and stocks go down. Um, the other thing that surprised me a little today was the VIX, even with, uh, you know, the kind of week and the kind of rally that we've had this week, the VIX was uh, right around 28, which is not low or high. It's kind of right in the middle, but on a day like this, where you have uh, anywhere from a 1.2 to a 2.5% gain in the averages, the VIX was only down 65 cents, 0.65. So that's a surprise. So um, you see that the uh, oil was up. Uh, the big mover of the day in that complex um, was that gas. And that gas is back above $6, comfortably above $6, $6.29.7. And it was up uh, 79 cents today. We also had heating oil up. 
heating oil was up 26 cents, gasoline was up 18 cents, so pretty much across the board in energy. Uh, the metals, not so great. After the kind of week that uh, we've had in the gold, to have absolutely no bounce really surprises me. I mean, we had a down this day, which was Friday, we were actually down substantially and managed to close down only 580. But Monday we came in and they took it down 37. And then yesterday, another 27. So this little bounce, you know, we're getting pretty close to this uptrend line, which is a very long term line, I might add. Um, and so uh, we didn't see much there. We also didn't see much in the silver, which surprised me. It acted better yesterday. It was up about 30 cents at the high of the day, but finished only up three cents. And this yesterday looked really good to me. This, uh, you know, hitting the number, closing up on the day and follow. I mean, I really expect to see this follow through to 20 and a half or so, even if it turns back down. Uh, Bitcoin was uh, higher again today. I mentioned this morning and last night that it felt to me like momentum to the downside was waning a bit. And today we finished uh, up about, uh, let's see, 21,855. These are open again. That's why it's showing it down 155. But it was up 1580 today. The dollar was up a mere six cents. And uh, although the bonds are bouncing a little now, they were actually down one and three eighths on the day also. All right, everyone. Tomorrow morning, the big number, non-farm payrolls. We'll have to see whether good news is good news or bad news. Have a good one.